What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2Wild, checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys, on a very special video. Today, guys, I wanted to break down to you my top 10 sneaker releases for All-Star Weekend. I've been getting you guys in the comment sections going crazy for this, and I was going to wait to do this till later on, but I'm like, why not? Why not get this video out now? That way that you guys got time to get your list together, to get your thoughts together on what sneakers are releasing that you may or may not know, but also just to hear out my top 10, and I would love for you guys to also type your top 10 in in the comment section down below, or your top 5 or top 3 at least. We did a top 10 February sneaker releases, so a lot of the shoes you see on there may be on here, but... We are gonna go ahead and do this list and add a little bit of a mm in it because there is other shoes that have recently came forth that are releasing, but there's also shoes that just I didn't even remember or know that was releasing during this weekend that I have to put in to this list. So without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy some snacks, and let's get straight into it, man. Let go. Coming in at number ten, guys, is the LeBron Seven All Star. Now these are set to release on the twelfth and retail for two hundred dollars. These are the LeBron Seven All Stars from the previous years, and I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't even remember this shoe coming out, not this shoe in particular. Now the set retail is two hundred dollars, and LeBron is also dropping another shoe, a current model of the what is this the sixteen, right? It's the sixteen or. 1617, correct me if I'm wrong, but he has his own all-star sneaker dropping as well, but they're also retroing this one that you see right here. And me personally, I like this shoe a lot. It has this wood grain type of look to it. I think it looks dope. And like for you major LeBron fans out there, I know this is probably gonna be a shoe that you guys are gonna wanna go after. I went after the LeBron one all-stars because I remember that shoe and I got that shoe to this day. When they retroed, I went and cop those ASAP and they just sitting down below and I might need to throw those on pretty soon because they're pretty dope. And, and you can't go wrong with wheat in my opinion. Coming in at number nine, releasing on the 16th for $180, we have another BBC and Reebok Answer 5 collaboration. If you remember the BBC Reebok collaboration that dropped during Complex Con, uh, it was a very, very limited shoe that released and sold out instantly pretty much. Well, you got another chance to cop a pair, and this one is in like a ketchup y, uh, hot tamale pink. It has a little bit of that same pink than the previous version, but it has a little bit of reds and other colors in there as well. So, some of you guys out there may or may not like this, but if you did like the previous model, I don't see why you wouldn't like this model right here. I mean, the colors are dope as well, and they are releasing during All Star Weekend. So, you have a chance to get something similar a BBC and Reebok collab once again during All-Star Weekend for $180, and this is dropping on the 16th. However, all these release dates, they're subject to change. Just remember that. Coming in at number eight, guys, is the Jordan 3 Fire Red. These are releasing on the 15th for a retail of $200, and I like them, man. A lot of people like this, and a lot of people got this shoe already. I'm late to the table. You guys know I try to get the shoes out early, but the fact that I'm late, I got something up. I got something planned up my sleeve. Giveaway. You know what I'm saying? I got something planned up my sleeve though on that. The Jordan 3 Fire Red is set to release during All-Star Weekend. And it's gonna be one of the premier shoes releasing during that weekend that everybody's gonna wanna get their hands on. And I feel like this is gonna be the most available sneaker during All-Star Weekend if you just ask me personally. But guys, get ready. They dropped the shock drop, they sold out. Now they're releasing them to the public during the 15th and I wanna get my pair ASAP. And I should be getting some very soon. So. Stay tuned to that. Coming in at number seven and releasing on the 16th, we have the Nike Adapt Air BB. Now I spoke about this in the top 10 of February, $400 on the retail price point, which is I think $50 more than the uh, the, the 1.0 pair. Um, this looks way better in my opinion. $400 is a lot of money though. I understand the pain and suffering, uh, but it's gonna be a good shoe. I think it's gonna be a shoe that people are gonna cop once again. People are gonna be buying them to resell because remember last year when they dropped they were, they were just sitting for retail, even below retail, but then out of nowhere, they just shot up. Remember that? They just, the OG pair just shot up, and they were flipping like crazy out of nowhere. I think they were flipping like $1,000. Now, right now, I don't know what the price point is right now, but I just remembered back then them going for crazy amounts. I might have to check StockX and see if it's where it's at now, but more than likely, it might drop a little bit since this 2.0 pair is releasing next week. But that isn't to say that this is gonna do the same thing, so don't jump out there going buying three, four pairs thinking that you're gonna be able to flip or the resale's gonna jump up. I don't know. So, your own risk on that one. But, if I get a chance to get a pair, more than likely, I will get a pair. Coming in at number six is the Jordan 1 New Beginnings Pack. The Jordan 1 in general. I, I, those are two different shoes, so I don't wanna put them together. But I, I guess we could, yes, that, that pack itself will put it all together on this one. The New Beginnings Pack, there's no set release date on this shoe though. 
The retail is $350, but there's no set retail, uh, release date yet. We would think it's gonna release during All-Star Weekend, but with everything getting smashed in there, I'm not yet sure to what date they would do it. I mean, we have something booked on the 15th. We have something booked on the 13th. We have something booked on the 16th. We have a lot of stuff booked on the 15th, actually. The 14th seems to be the only day I don't see anything releasing. So keep that in mind. We'll have to wait and see, because right now, I just don't know. But the pack itself is dope. I like it. Uh, you know, $350 is a lot. You're getting, well, you're getting two shoes for that. At the same time, it's a lot. We understand. But the New Beginnings pack is releasing, and we've been seeing this shoe since December. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that high top cut is compared to the regular Jordan ones we began recently. I want to know what this high is. I think this is the first of the high, or I could be wrong. Maybe maybe the reverse braid is the first high. Uh, I don't know. I, I need to look into that. I'm looking at some pictures right now, and they look pretty high. So I'll just have to wait and see on that. I'm, I'm not too sure. But number six, New Beginnings Pack. Coming in at number five, releasing on the 15th, is the Nike Air Force One Don C. This is basically a continuation of the previous Don C that we saw. Uh, was that? That was during Complex Con that these released. I remember seeing them. They look very similar. I want to make sure that these are... They look identical to the, the white ones that released a couple years back. Now we have a blue pair. These are supposedly releasing during All-Star Weekend. I love that colorway. It does mimic a lot of the Air Force One MCA off-white, but I love that baby blue with that red mixture. Don C stuff, I have Air Force Ones and I have his Jordan 2s still to this day. I like them, can't complain. So if I'm able to get my hands on a pair of Air Force Ones from Don C, I wouldn't complain and I'll go ahead and jump out and get them. This week is gonna be a hefty one though, so we gotta balance everything out because I don't wanna go broke. I don't wanna go broke. But I had to put this one on the list. This is a new shoe that was inserted in real recently. I don't even think this one was on my top 10 February release dates because I didn't even know it was releasing at the time. But be on the lookout. There's no price point yet, maybe $200, 160 to 200. So just be on the lookout and supposedly these are releasing on February 15th. Coming in at number four, releasing on the 15th as well, is the Yeezy 700 V3 Alva. 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 These are retailing for $200. I have yet to get a pair of 700 V3s, so this will be a shoe that I would want to go after as well because I'd be wanting to get a V3 in the collection finally. So I'm feeling like a lot of people are going to be feeling the same way on this one, trying to get their first V3. All black isn't really wrong to go with. At the same time, all black shoes don't always seem to sit well. They sometimes look like janitor droopers, and I know that may sound like a hypocrite when I just copped the all black fours. I don't know, but these themselves remind me of a shoe I bought a while back. I forgot they were the Air Adidas Tubular OG. It was an old school shoe that I bought, and I bought them in the white and black, and I bought them on the black on black, but the black on black looked like some janitor shoes. The white and black one looked fine, and if I can find pics of those, I will make sure to put those in this video, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, I would rather cop, cop first, ask questions later, you feel what I'm saying? And uh, basically, uh, just go after them. Just, just cop them and think about it later on. If I don't want them, I just sell them, resell them, whatever, so. Um, I'm about to pull the trigger on it at the end of the day and just try to get my hands on these because it is what it is. They do look like Elephant Titus though, but I love them. Coming in at number three, releasing on the 13th, we have the Jordan 1 UNC to Chicago. We have a review on that now. If you want to go check that out, I love the shoes. I talk about them a lot. Where they at? Where they at? They on the couch over there. I love them. Go check them out. Check out the review. And my vacuum cleaner just fell. Go check out the review on that though. Uh, I love the shoes. They are women's exclusive in extended sizes. so. Let the wars begin on that one, but they are dope and I won't take that away from them and I had to put them high on the list for that reason. Quality, colors, and it's a Jordan 1. These shoes are phenomenal. Coming in at number two is the Jordan 1 Reverse Bread and the retail on this is $200 and the re release date is on the 8th. So this is the first shoe coming out to kind of start things off. These are extremely limited, I think the 23,000 pairs and uh, they are shoes that Jordan wore. That's gonna add on to the hype behind that. Limited hype with Jordan wearing them and they're a, basically a P that's now releasing to the public. This is gonna be probably the biggest shoe. The only reason why I would take it out of being number one is because it's just so far away from All-Star Weekend. Um, this might be, supposedly these are releasing on the 8th, even on the Sneakers app. I wouldn't be surprised if these restock during All-Star Weekend somewhere, or if you're in Chicago, they're gonna re-release them at the Chicago store. It's, auto, it, it's gonna happen. These are gonna be brought into All-Star Weekend automatically. These, this is gonna pop everything off though. This shoe pops it all off. And then coming in at number one, releasing on the 15th is the Off-White Jordan 5. The retail on these are $225. 
This is going to be the shoe that everybody's waiting on. This is going to be the shoe that's going to be having some shock drops here and there. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some location, ac early access, whatever in Chicago where you got to be at a certain place. I'm looking forward to seeing how this shoe releases in Chicago. Unfortunately, I more than likely will not be there at this point in time, but I'm looking forward to seeing it from afar from my colleagues, but also just from being on the internet on Twitter and all that. This is going to be a really nice weekend, and I'm just looking forward to it at the end of the day. So we'll I'll just wait and see what is to be brought upon with this off-white Jordan 5, and hopefully, 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 I get my pair. But I already accepted the L. I know. Trust me. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new, guys. I more than likely will be going live today on the Too Wild for TV channel. So if you haven't subscribed already to the podcast, go and do that. I will leave a link down below in the description of that. Come and pull up on me, man. We go live almost each and every other day. We do this Doug Thizzle and something this was delivered by Amazon. So I got to go downstairs and get that ASAP. I love you guys. It's your boy, Tony D. Too Wild. Chicken in, chicken out.